Hi friends, we are gonna work on a moon piece today. So using white and yellow, it's gonna make some cool background texture. And then we're also gonna use some glue. First, use your white crayon to draw a circle. And then that you're gonna leave that empty for right now because you're gonna fill it with glue and all this cool stuff later. Using your yellow, go ahead and make some stars. They can be stars, they can be like snowflake shape, they can be circles. However you draw your stars. And then I'm gonna go in with the white and draw like little circles as extra stars. If you know any constellations, this would be a cool spot to do with the white. Um, you can do like the Little Dipper, the Big Dipper, Gemini, Orion's Belt, any of those cool ones if you know them. I'm just going to do dots. Okay, now my glue is clogged right now. I tried to unclog it, but the show must go on. So we're going to use <clears throat> a Q-tip and glue. So go ahead and scoop it out. Get as much as you can. The more the better for this art project. Spread it around that circle that you made with your white crayon. And you don't want it to blend in fully, so like leave it kind of up, if that makes sense. Bulgy, lumpy, because it's gonna make a cool texture when we go over it and paint later, but we have to wait for it to dry. Um, inside, the moon has craters, so go ahead and make some cool craters. You can do one, two, a bunch of them. Make it like lumpy. Okay, and then put your Q-tip to the side, close it up, and then we have to wait for the liquid glue to dry. It can take a little bit, so I'm going to leave it out in the sun and hopefully it will dry quicker, and then I'll show you the next step. See you soon. So we made our cool moon earlier with the glue, and luckily I kept it outside so it dried a quick bit quicker. Um, I have a few different Hi ones. Friends. So we're going to use our watercolors to paint the background and then we'll move into the middle for our moon. <clears throat> so you're going to do black or you can do blue. You can do purple. Just you're painting your background and you'll start to see the crayon resist from what you did earlier and you see your stars coming out. Don't worry if you go near the moon, the glue should resist it also. But don't go on top of your moon. Don't worry if you paint on the table, you can wipe it off after. Try 
trying to find the outline of the moon. You can feel for it. I know I did it mostly black already, but I want to see what it might look like if I try to put some blue on top of it. Gives a little, little change. It might not show up when it dries, but try something new. Or maybe not blue and do purple. Or after you do blue, add some purple. Or just leave it black. So I'm going to do a black. I'm going to show you how to do it. Dip it. Make the water black. Take off your brush and you're just going to use that water to make your moon. You can add a little bit more black if you need to. Mix it up. You'll start to see your glue spots coming through. If that happens, all you do is get more water and just spread it out. More water, spread it out. It's not a big deal. You can fix it. It's kind of cool to feel with your paintbrush to feel where the glue was too. So now you have your moon artwork. I hope you had fun. Bye friends.